Hello everybody, welcome back. We're here for a new project. Um, so, this project I've been kind of thinking about for a while and I've been wanting to do it for a long time. I'm going to build a small kind of Mars rover-esque um, rover thing that will allow me to test out different uh, payloads, if you will. So, I've done some preliminary CAD, enough to start printing and making parts. Um, so I've got a lot of parts printing, and then I've got the body started. I'll show a picture of the CAD you know, here. So, this video will be assembling the body and the drivetrain, and the next video is going to be integrating the electronics so I'll to actually drive and um, some control stuff, stuff like that. And then videos after that will hopefully be testing out different payloads. Right now I've got ideas about, you know, LiDAR sort of um, surrounding awareness using LiDAR or ultrasonic sensors, um, a webcam slash video feed with, you know, facial recognition, stuff like that. I'd really like to dive into the machine learning sort of thing. So that'd be very cool. Uh, the opportunities are really endless, so if you have any suggestions, let me know. So, I started the body right here, and it has a it has just been assembled and got a coat of primer on it, so we need to disassemble it and glue up some couple parts and then reassemble it to give it its final paint job. And then from there, we will start working on the drivetrain parts once they're all printed. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is take off this top panel right here. All right, so in the near future, I'm probably going to actually end up replacing either these panels or these panels with a 3D printed panel that has spots for fans to go in there so I can get some air circulation on the electronics that'll be in here. Um, but until then, I just have wood ones, so those don't need to be glued in, but these corners right here will stay right there. So, um, those are the parts that need to be glued in. So now that we have this all assembled, we can take it outside and put the final paint job on it. Welcome back. It's now two days later and the rest of the motors just got here and I've been printing pretty much non-stop for the last two days printing all these parts. Um, so I have everything printed. It's kind of hard to explain how each assembly is going to work so I'm going to assemble one of them really quickly and then um, show how it works. All right.
right, so I have finished assembling um, and mounting one set of the linkages for the wheels. So <clears throat> as you can see here, there's four main parts. The hub that mounts to the um, actual body, the linkages that connect the motor mount to the hub, um, the motor mount, and then the wheels. So you can see that as a uh, force is applied, the wheel can rotate up and you know it kind of acts as a suspension and then these rubber bands are what you know make it naturally rest downwards and will support the weight of the rover and then if you flip it upside down you can see that and here are the motors these are 100 rpm geared motors um, they just run off 12 volts and they should provide plenty tor of torque for this thing to drive So as I put these last couple bolts and nuts on here, I want to talk about kind of the inspiration for this project. So one of my earliest memories of space-related events is um, when Opportunity and Spirit landed on Mars back in 2004, I believe it was. And uh, that was just the coolest thing ever at the time for me. And since then, I've always loved all the rovers. And um, with Opportunity just dying, um, let's see, a couple months ago, and um, Mars 2020 rover coming up right around the corner, I figured there's no better time to do this project and kind of make my own rover-esque thing. Obviously, it's kind of a light, a um, not an exact take on a rover because most or all the American Mars rovers have had six wheels. But it's kind of the size of Sojourner. Um, this is about 21 inches long, and Sojourner was about 26 inches long. So it's kind of a close size, but I just kind of wanted to do something that was, you know, based around rivers, and it'll teach me a lot about um, you know, how they work, stuff like that. And also the research I did in preparation for this, I learned a lot about how we used our rovers and you know obviously not a ton of that translated to this but it was still really cool to learn about them All right, so thank you everyone for watching. That's gonna wrap it up for this video. Um, so we finished the body and the drivetrain of the rover. Next video, which will be coming out shortly, next you know week or so, will be the electronics inside, and we're going to get it driving with um, kind of like RC control. And then after that, we'll keep doing you know projects working around making it drive itself and different sensors and stuff like that. So there's a lot more in the future planned for this guy. So if you're interested in this stuff, feel free to, subs free to subscribe and, you know, keep, keep, keep up with us as we do this, you know, 
big project here. Um, so yeah, thank you all for watching. See you next time.